Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. First and foremost, let us express our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity to be in the blessed month. So today we already in the first Rajab, 1442 Hijri. Allahumma barik lana fi rajab wa sha'ban wa balighna ramadhan. O oh Allah, please bless us in this month of rajab, sha'ban, and extend it to the month of ramadhan. You are with me, Suhaimi bin Muhammad Sarif from the International Islamic University, Malaysia. Today, I'm going to talk, to talk about Islam and management with the concept of a barakah or blessings. So we will be asking blessings from uh, first Rajab until the 30th of Ramadan, continuously. Allahumma barik lana fi Rajab wa sha'ban wa balighna Ramadan. Very important, my brothers and sisters, to ask for blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Blessings have both component, both uh, tangible and intangible, implicit and explicit, noticeable and unnoticeable. We as humans being they are created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable us to perform our task as servants and vice servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the context of management, blessings has a very dynamic uh, input to the organizations. Tangible or intangible resources that organizations possess, whether human assets, human talents, uh, capitals, investment, compte advantages, and so forth are actually in the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we, we, we get very talented employees who are loyal, who are very industrious and diligent to work in our organization and work to their full potential and with the optimum level is actually a blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have a very good customers who are very loyal, who are willing to give us input and feedback about our goods and production. It is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has uh, attracted and also triggered the hearts of our customers to be loyal with our products and services. And also Allah has triggered the loyalty and also the industrial personality of our employees is because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, even ourselves as the managers, as the CEOs, uh, shareholders of our organization and companies, we are also uh, given the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As shareholders, we are able to pull a, a sum of money to be given to the company as a share. And we as managers have been blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the experience and talents in managing a company to get things done with efficiency and effectiveness. Everything that we do in this world under the guidance and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we are always asked to recite Bismillahirrahmanirrahim in the name of Allah, the most compassionate and also the most mercy. We always ask the mercy and compassion from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can uh, get the mercy and the compassion of Allah in the forms of barakah or blessing. And in order to do, to get the blessing from Allah, we have to express our gratitude. 
Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. We have to express our gratitude with all the bounties given by Allah in this world and also in the universe. Because Allah is the honor, absolute honor of the world and the universe. And again, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Allah the most merciful and also the most compassionate. Malik Yawmiddin. The honor of the day of the judgment. Brothers and sisters, the verses that we recited continuously in Surah Al-Fatiha. It is compulsory for us to recite Al-Fatiha in any kind of prayer. Any kind of prayers. Obligatory prayers, Sunnah prayers, and even Janazah prayer, we have to recite Surah Al-Fatiha. So in Surah Al-Fatiha, it's a gist that contains what we need to live in this world to be meaningful, to gain blessings, and also, more importantly, to execute our duties and responsibilities as servants and vicegerents of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, let us continue to make dua and also we have to make effort for that to get the blessing from Allah. He said we make dua, Allahumma barik lana fi rajaf wa sha'ban wa balighna ramadan. We also recite, Allahumma barik lana fi ma razaqtana wa qina azaban nar. Yeah, remember, remember brothers and sisters, the dua of uh, eating, we always say, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma barik lana fi ma razaqtana wa qina azaban nar. Oh Allah, please bless the sustenance that you have bestowed on us. Allahumma barik lana fi ma razaqtana. And more importantly, we wanted our blessings not just the blessings on the food that bestowed by allah but the results of eating will uh, please by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah please us to enter into jannah and together with our messengers prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may allah bless all of you brothers and sisters let us intensify our dua to ask for the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With that, wa bilahi tafiq wa hidayah, wa salamu alaikum, wa rahmatullahi, wa barakatuh, till we meet again, illa al-liqa, ma'as-salamah.